Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era. Thank you very much for joining me in this video and today we are going to be looking at the realistic mode. So no time to dilly dally around, let's get straight into it. In realistic mode you can use your mouse or the keyboard to operate the levers in the locomotive cab. The controls are also represented on the bottom right of the screen so you can see that right there. So that, that looks a lot different to what we had before, we had the uh, direct control mode which looked a bit like, like I said, the uh, Hornby train tracks uh, the you know the model railways and now it looks more like well it just looks like a few uh, sliders at the moment but let's see what we can get so to begin press F to select forward gear but I think we can do that here so forward gear is we're looking at the reverser which looks to be that so that's going in that direction I think is that forward or is that forward? I don't know. Well, yeah, no, it says up there. There, throttle, forward. Uh, click on the check mark to continue. So, let's just press F to double check that that's right. That is right. Uh, pressure in the brake cylinders causes the brakes to apply. Note the display on the right that the brake cylinder is showing 64 PSI. So, that's up there. There we go. To release the brakes, press the Q key. But I believe we can also do that over here is that reduced I don't know no that's actually on that's the one there we go right okay so there we go we've released it the brake cylinder has gone down fantastic is that fully released I guess so let's press Q to double check Yep, that's fully released. Okay. Uh, w advances the throttle, so we can bring the throttle up one notch at a time. So the throttle is right there. So you can see us doing that. Okay. And now we'll just drive. So I'm assuming X brings the throttle down. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so we're just going to drive away now. It hasn't told us how to brake again. I'm assuming if it was Q to release, it's going to be... No, that was different. That just applied the brake. Ah, no. Go away. Can we now press these then? Go, go, go. There we go. We can't, we still can't press these. Not entirely sure why, why not. Switch that on as well. No, is that not wanting to go on? There we go. No, I want it to dim. Can I not? No, there's just off and execute to back off the throttle. Right, that's fine. So you can see here, throttle zero. Green signal for us, 30 mile an hour limit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was going over the points. Okay. That's fine. Fine by me. So we're just going to continue along our way. It hasn't told us how to brake yet. I know how to brake. I know how to slow one of these down. I was all, I almost said an aircraft. I know how to slow aircraft down. This is not an aircraft. If it was an aircraft, uh, I'm going a little bit too slowly to do anything with it. Look at that bridge over there. That can be the picture for today. Realistic mode, so you can see all the controls and everything. That that I think that would make sense for the th thumbnail. My voice just disappeared again. So it's just going to potter on along at 11 miles per hour. As you can see, throttle is idle, but we are still pottering along at 11 miles an hour. What does that say? Reverse a handle in, throttle, stop or idle, dynamic brake off, throttle position, stop through eight, reverse a handle in, rev any position, dynamic brake off, dynamic brake off through eight, means the reverse handles in, reverse in forward or reverse, throttle has to be in stop or idle. To set up a trailing unit, throttle in idle, dynamic brake off, reverse a handle, remmed? Remmed, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what that means. 
Caution, do not move the dynamic brake to set slash up until throttle has been in idle for at least 10 seconds. All right, so at least 10 seconds is what we've got to wait for the dynamic brakes. That's the horn, right? Uh, since you're running lighter and otherwise not holding a constant, use the independent brake to stop. Right, okay. So we just did that. To set reverse gear, press the R key. The throttle must be in idle position to set the reverse gear. Well, the throttle is in idle, as you can see. And we should be able to set the reverse gear by... Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. That did something. What's that doing? Ah! A is... No, Z is... What was that? Z does everything. A is there. How do I... Q... Q drops it. A increases it. S does... Nothing. Z puts it on... That. Okay. Right, so anyway, select the reverse gear. We can actually do that manually for us. There we go. We're in reverse. Uh, we can press E to really... Ah! E... Okay. Okay. Okay, so E increases and... So you can press and hold. And then reduce the... Okay, fine. And now we're in reverse. We can now put the throttle back. And you can see that's red now as we're in reverse. So that's pretty good. Oh, and it's taken us into an outside view. Very nice. Very nice. We'll just back ourselves out. It looks like we're picking up one of these consists. Not too bad, though. It's been a little... Oh, no, we're not. We're, we're just... We're just going to reverse. Okay. Maybe we're going that way. I think I just saw that. Yep, we are going that way. Fine. Maybe we're pulling into that section there. We just came along here, so... Yeah, perhaps that's what we're doing. We'll back up. We'll give ourselves a little bit more throttle. You can certainly hear that's a lot more realistic. Right. Press X to apply the throttle until it's in the idle position. Press E to apply the independent brake. Which is exactly what we're doing. Which is absolutely fine. That's not too that's not too difficult at all. Congratulations, you've completed this tutorial. Well, okay. That's only taken a few minutes. Let's uh let's get another tutorial done, I think. So we're going to now look at the train brake. So we'll look at the train brake, we'll look at the dynamic brake. Maybe we'll get both of them done in this video, which should be quite good. If we can get both done in this video, that should, in theory, work very well for us. Okay, there's our train. You can see it's, it's quite a long train. So now it's going to take us time to move the train. You may start your train forward when ready. A heavy train can take a long time to build up speed. F to select forward gear, Q to release the train brake, and W to advance the throttle one notch at a time, as you would expect. I'm going to do this myself. That's that. Bring that up. Uh, the brakes can go off. That's the whole train brake right there. And then we'll increase the power and get ourselves going. Pull that horn. That's cool. Now that feels more like a... That feels a lot more like a train now. It, it's needing power to bring it up. Now I'm going to keep the power in this uh, green zone. I'm not going to let it go out or past the green zone. I think that's how you're supposed to. Throttle flashing yellow. Okay, so that's fine. Pressing V. Okay. Press S to close the throttle and create more 
slowly press V to toggle the sanders awesome so we can so we've got sanding with a V does that mean we can press that now no why can we not press that I don't understand but we are certainly picking up speed now as we would expect that signals for us right no it's not that signals for the track along our signal will be on this side there it is green clear ahead but not clear to cross that's what the second one means if you haven't seen that have a look at the tutorial uh, the tutorial I did in the last episode which was for signaling it was a full signaling tutorial following along and I actually learned what those mean I think I give it a bit more power now you can see I'm keeping that in the green section that's what I believe it should be so now if I press V to get a sander going no I, I can't see I mean it says it up here see there it says sand right there but I can't see where yeah I can't see where it is this is good this is good this feels much more like a like driving a train actually much much more like driving a train all right this part of the slope this part of the line slopes down grade in degrees by the gradient of course gravity will move the train downhill at this speed so close the throttle until the speed limit is increased see the limit in the upper right hand corner of course there's a 60 so we need to pass through the 60 which should be as we go around this corner the back of our train should pass through the 60 That's fine. So we'll let the train speed up of its own accord. I think past this searchlight, that's when we should go up to 60, I think. I don't know how long our train is. I think our train is a lot longer. Hmm. Interesting. Luckily, the gradient has leveled out there. It goes to 60. We can bring the throttle back in. Now, I wonder, is that must be the dynamic brake then, right there. That must be the dynamic brake. So we've got plenty of power that we can give this. The train brake is connected by the brake pipe, an air airline that connects the brake system on... Right, let's get rid of the power for now. Connects... right. The connects the brake system to every car on the train. A reduction in brake pipe pressure triggers airflow into the brake cylinders causing the brakes to apply it takes time for the brakes to apply throughout the whole train okay so basically it means we're going to have to slow this train down very very soon that's what it's basically telling us so I'm actually going to potter along at 35 from, in fact you know what I'm just, no I'm going to increase I'm going to risk it I'm going to risk it it's going to be bad but I'm going to risk it we've got a 50 limit coming up right there you can, oop, you can just see there there's a 50 but we have another clear signal and we're doing 34 miles an hour so 34 miles an hour ain't bad at all the locomotive is fitted with a modern self-lapping brake handle the amount of brake force depends on how far the brake handle is moved throughout its range so that's that one there I just want to know how to apply it please tell me how do you apply this brake handle as we swing around this corner this is actually you know what someone left a comment saying that the the idea of tutorials is fantastic and I completely agree to have a tutorial to teach you how to drive the train in all its various aspects and to teach you signaling and everything it's really really good this is something other train sims need right there is a 40 mile an hour limit at the tunnel ahead tapping a once moves the handle to initial service position okay so tapping a once like that does that and then press Q to release okay so A and Q is uh, what we need there that's fine we're, we're already below that limit so we're actually going to accelerate very slightly towards that limit so we'll just continue along our merry way I don't see this 40 mile an hour limit. I see a tunnel. It said it's at, at the tunnel, so we're going to have to see. Oops. 
Hey, hello. What's happened there? Oh, I wasn't... Okay, there's a little bug. Okay. That's fine. We're still pottering along at 35 miles an hour. Quite happy about 35 miles an hour. Limit is 60. We've just gone into a 60 limit. That must be where the 40 is. It says next limit 40. That's just at the tunnel. But we are doing absolutely fine at 37 miles per hour. In throttle position 3. So we didn't actually pick up to the 60 because I wasn't, I wasn't too sure. So that's why. Okay, up up ahead the climb the line climbs steeply and lost momentum will be difficult to gain until the track levels out. So basically, we need to crank up the power to make sure that we don't lose momentum. There's the climb. So we want to make sure that we have the power to get up this hill. I'm watching that speedometer very, very carefully. We're really going to give it power here. There we go. We seem to be okay here at 36 miles an hour. Climbing in notch 6. Little bug there. Maybe that can be fixed. And now we can bring it down, I think, to notch 4. Seems to be okay. I don't see a, a climb. In. Oh, there's another climb. We'll try and push ourselves back again. Make sure we don't lose. We don't want to go below. In fact, you know, we're in a 60 mile an hour zone, but there is a 40 coming up in. Oh, that's a that's a ways away. So we're actually going to try and really crank up the power here. That's in maximum. So we haven't got any wheel slip. As it said, that will start flashing yellow if we have wheel slip. Oh, and we are definitely losing speed despite being in in maximum power here. This is quite an uphill climb. 30 miles an hour. We're doing everything we can here. There's nothing else we can do. We are going to be losing speed. There's nothing we can do about it. That looks a little bit more level, that section there. So hopefully we can pick back up a little bit in this section. There it goes. It is leveling out. I was right. And now it's climbing up again. Okay, it was that corner that leveled out. 25 miles an hour. Now I wonder if putting some sand down is going to help us here. What's that? Sidewall heater? No. Oh, we're managing to... We just managed to hold together at 24 miles per hour. Next signal is yellow. According to this display here. What's that? Performance option presets. I'm not going to press any of this stuff. Just in case everything goes wrong. I wonder if a sander will help us. I doubt it because we haven't got any wheel slip. And with no wheel slip, the sand is just going to add additional friction, which is not going to be good at this point in time. Because we've got the torque, so all the additional friction is going to do is increase rolling resistance. Yep. Mechanics there. It's a bit of mechanics. I used to study that a long time ago. All about climbing up hills. and I could actually give you the acceleration, deceleration rates for this, the figures the amount of pull on the back, the torque on the wheels to keep it going at this speed, so on and so forth. It's just, it's, mechanics is actually very, very interesting. It's a, obviously it's a branch of physics uh, and engineering. So something that I had to study. 20 miles per hour. We should be coming up to the end of this tutorial, I am assuming. We can now start picking up power, or picking up speed, since we're on a level gradient, once again. 
There you go, you can see 24 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour. 26, I should have used my horn going in there. Oh, oh well, we'll use it afterwards. There we go. Oh well. 29 miles per hour. We are doing well. Once again, picking up speed as fast as we can. Now let's see, I'm going to creep over 40 if possible. And then I'm going to reduce the power and then I'm going to break 240 to see how strong these brakes are. So we'll find out. 34. Although that being said, we do have a signal. We're about to pass a yellow signal. Right, okay. So we're actually going to do that. And it says press A twice. So that's pressing A twice to make a f more forceful brake application. It's not really doing much, is it? I I'm assuming A is increasing the power then. Of Yep, it's increasing power to the brakes. You can see there, look at the brake cylinder pressure going up. So then Q is going to release it. The next signal is shown yellow in the display to the right. Looks like you'll stop too early. If it looks like you'll pass the signal, move the handle further. So I've released the brakes. So now we're just going to coast along for the next half a mile. And we've got an uphill section there, so that should slow the train down. So I'm actually going to leave it in notch one of power because I think that uphill section is going to slow it down a little bit too much. Or actually, you know what, I'm going to go to notch two. And now I'm going to get the brakes on. that's going that's gonna go bad this is taking a while to stop I can see where the signal is going to be it's right there I'm doing my best to stop this train I've really had to I really had to crank that up Ooh, congratulations you have completed this tutorial and I think I've completed this uh, video that was actually not that easy to stop the train Okay, well, let's uh, go back to this. So we've got two more to go. So I'll do those two, I think, in the next episode. Uh, so we've got a 15-minute one there. In fact, that might be two separate episodes. So we'll have to see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Trains A New Era. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Trains A New Era. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. And if you can support me on Patreon, please do. I would massively, massively appreciate your support. It would allow me to create more videos like this, better quality videos longer content generally better content and also have just make a living out of this and really increase the amount of work and the quality of the work that i do i think those horns is a good idea or a good time to stop uh, i'll see you guys next time in trains a new era